how to catch and tame a lizard. So I have my uh, lizard here that I'm going to be uh, using as a demonstration. I just caught him um, using my favorite method, um, a noose method. And he was just floating around in our backyard. We have a whole bunch of lizards. So let me go ahead and show you what the noose method is. So over here we have our noose and it is usually attached to the stick. But to show you how it works, uh, I'd have to uh, not attach it because it is an extremely long pole. So let me get situated and then I'll come right back. Okay, I'm back and so this is, I'm going to be uh, bad at this because I'm doing this with one hand. Um, so this loop right here, um, that's what you're kind of trying to go by. Um, uh, we haven't tried to catch our lizards in um, like a year and um, and uh, so they're really scared. Um, so I have it, I had it bigger, but if your lizards in your backyard or wherever you want to catch them are tame, a smaller noose would definitely be better. So you just want to go down here and then you do this with a pole. You wouldn't do this with a um, straight off, like unless you're like lizards are really tame. But then you just slide it around its neck there and then you just, oops, hold on. This is really hard doing it with one hand. Okay, you put it on, and then you use fishing line because it's really hard for them to see, and then you just pull it up, and you got it. And then, um, I would like to take him off very fast because um, it is not the most comfortable solution. So next tip, we are going to show you how to take it off, which is very handy for me because I almost got bit the first time I did it. And thankfully I didn't. So, um, this is also going to be hard with one hand. Um, so take your lizard and, oops, it's already off. Anyway, what you're going to want to do is, okay, here, let me take this off. What you're going to want to do is, because it'll be around the neck, and it's going to be hard to do that, and they can also turn it, like, take it off from this, and, um, they're also going to try to bite you when you do that. So, the best way for me to do it is to flip them upside down, and I know it looks like they're dead, but I'll show you how to do that in a minute, and then usually you'd have two hands and just work the noose off here, or you can ask somebody for help and, uh, have somebody else hold it like that, and then you just work the noose off. Next, we are going to tame it, and so the first one is getting into a good habitat. And so this one, we have a flower pot here, and it's um, before um, my other lizard that I let go, I had it in here, and it nearly escaped multiple times. But I found him buried in the dirt when I woke up, and so I put that dirt in here to try to make him feel more comfortable. And then I put more sticks and twigs, but I recommend not putting like a long stick all the way up because then they could just climb up out of the container. And uh, I recommend doing tall, smooth walls and just a nice place for him to hang out. And um, this one is not very good at this one, but to let sunlight in. That's why um, I chose this one because the walls were clear and it was see-through and it let a lot of sunlight in. But this one will do until I find a better container for him, but keeps him contained um, more. And so, um, next, how to tame it. When you first put him in his enclosure, he'll try to, like, climb up the walls and, like, go everywhere. But after he gets a little bit used to it, and you pick him up for the first time, he'll um, be more open to you grabbing him. And when you let him go, he'll be easier to catch next time. And um, what's the most exciting part for me, uh, catching lizards, is um, seeing the patterns on their belly. Well, not for all lizards, but um, this particular lizard is a blue belly. We have a lot of these here. And we are going to flip him over and you can see the intricate patterns on his belly. It is so neat that it's really cool. And so uh, we're going to show you how to do that and how to um, make him not bite you when you do that. 
most lizards here um, won't bite you when you do that, but um, I've actually only tried this method on blue bellies because uh, we don't have any other like free um, uh, lizards here that you can just like catch off your walls. And um, so basically all you want to do to make them more comfortable, you don't want to just like pinch them here. You want to grab your thumb underneath its neck and have your hand over its back and then just kind of like support it as you flip him over. And then if you want to keep him overnight, then um, if you might want to put sand or dirt in there, but be careful with the sand because they can ingest the sand and that can make them sick. But they like to bury, so when you wake up, don't be freaked out if he's gone. Just trail your fingers around in the dirt, and I'm pretty sure you'll find him, unless you have a really shallow container, or if these walls were bumpy and easier for him to grab onto. So next is to um, how to like feed your lizard and what foods they eat. So the food they like most, they like like all bug, like roly polies and stuff. But um, the best, I you guys probably won't be able to do this, but is um, flies. So if you just stand there um, with your um, with a Ziploc bag open, they'll just fly right into it, and then you take off their wings and put them in their container, and they should eat them. And then. Um, how to just pick it up normally. So instead of uh, flipping it over, you can um, just um, like put uh, your hand underneath its chin and then just let him climb on. Or you can just um, get his from paws attached and then, yeah. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of Free Range Kids. Make sure to check out our other videos. See you guys next time. Bye.